Check out this scenario. You were just charged with stunt driving or racing in Ontario, and there is no question, no question the radar caught you at the speed of above 40 kilometers per hour or more in an under 80 kilometer zone, or 50 kilometers per hour or more in an over 80 kilometer zone. You know it, the police officer knows it, and the court will know it. So the only question becomes, how do I get that stunt driving charge reduced to avoid that one to three year license suspension? Getting charges reduced, it's not easy. Think of this logically. If you were caught uh, stunt driving and the radar or laser is correct, why would you possibly be eligible to get the charge reduced? According to the province, in this scenario, you're guilty. So there are limited ways in which a stunt driving charge can be reduced. Number one, you can try pleading with a prosecutor on your own, or two, get proper legal defense from a stunt driving law firm. If, number one, if you try pleading the stunt driving charges on your own, of course you can do this. However, listen very, very carefully because this is really important. Generally, you will have to wait until after your first court appearance to schedule any sort of meeting with the prosecutor. You will need to thoroughly examine your evidence prior to this call. You'll need to understand the prerequisites of this evidence and the prerequisites of, dis of discussing your case with the prosecutor. If the discussions do not go well, this is most likely your only chance to discuss the case. There generally are no second chances in provincial offenses courts because prosecutors are very, very busy. And the best way to think about this is as follows. With a stunt driving conviction, you will lose your driver's license for one to three years. So you have to weigh the risks with attempting to handle these charges on your own. There's so much on the line with a stunt driving charge. If you had uh, a simple speeding charge, you would only be risking man a manageable fine and some demerit points. So if your discussions with a prosecutor don't go well, there really is no life-changing penalties that will result from a bad discussion. But when it comes to stunt driving, a bad discussion could cost you your job, your ability to take care of your family, and so much more. So let's look at option two, getting proper legal defense for stunt driving. It is probably time to get some professional legal advice and proceed very, very carefully with these charges. While stunt driving may seem like a traffic charge that many people may not take seriously, think um, more about how you would function if your license was suspended for one to three years and you couldn't drive for that period of time. You would run the real risk of losing your job, not being able to get a job, not being able to get to job interviews, not being able to take care of your family, and not being able to use a car for any type of emergencies and so many other reasons. And that's how serious this charge can be if it's not reduced or dealt with properly. A proper law firm, that specializes in stunt driving, they may have a strategy or a legal course of action that could prevent or at least reduce this license suspension. And best of all, the call would be free. So you can scroll down below or look at the description below. You can book a free call with Dan Joffe or myself, John Cohen. There's no obligation, but that call, it could change everything in helping you getting your stunt driving charges reduced.